What's going on everybody? Welcome to another M Creator tutorial and in today's video I am going to be showing you how to use the new built-in animations with M Creator. I already have a video showing you how to make a modded animated entity and if you missed that uh, we are not going to be covering the first couple of steps which is of course making our entity. We're going to assume that you already have an entity and you were using it with Gecko Lib, and you want to convert it to the new built-in animations in the 2024.4 update so if you missed that video then go ahead and see it in the i cards right now you'll have to watch the first little bit just to uh, get your entity set up and all that type of stuff uh, but once you do you can come back here and the first step is actually going to be converting our entity from a gecko lib model to a which actually right now for some reason it says it's a bedrock entity which is weird uh, but just come in here and if it's a bedrock entity or a gecko lib model or anything like that you're going to want to come in here and press convert project and convert it to a standard modded entity go ahead and press confirm make sure that all your animations are still in place which they are not so we're going to have to import some animations here and the easiest way to do that is going to be to open the folder where you have your previous animations saved. Go ahead and drag and drop them right here. Make sure that they are all checked and press OK. You're then going to want to double check your animations just to make sure that they are all working properly. It looks like we don't have any sort of idle animation, but our walk animation here is working just fine. And if we click sprint, it is, of course, just the walk animation, but a little bit faster. So our animations here are working just fine. What we now need to do is I'm actually gonna come up here into project once again and get rid of this converted because personally, I don't see any reason for it. We're gonna go ahead and press confirm and then do file, save project uh, and save it to whatever folder that you want. And then file, export Java entity. We can export that Java entity right into here. So in order to export our animations, you might be tempted to press animation, export animations, but really we need to come down here where it says export and export modded entity animations. This is gonna export it as a Java file. So that's a very common mistake, uh, very easy to do, but just make sure that you're not pressing export animations here. You are doing file, export, export modded entity animations just like this and make sure that it is named turkey dot animation and just like that our entity and animations are converted to java now we just need to import them into m creator come back here into m creator and go into resources if we go to textures you can see i've already imported my turkey texture that's very easy just press import uh entity textures right here and you don't have to change this around or anything like that then we can go into 3D models, import a Java 3D model, press OK, and select the turkey. It's going to open up this big, long list of animations right here. These are default animations, so I'm going to go ahead and leave these blank and press override animations. Now, in order to import our Java animations, all you have to do is press import 3D model animations, click turkey animation right up there, and press open. And just like that, we have our turkey animations right here. So now we're going to want to go ahead and make our entity. I still have Gecko Lib imported, as you can see up here, but we do not want to make an animated entity. We just want to make a standard entity, which is right here, a living entity. We're going to change this to our custom turkey model right here. Change this to our custom turkey texture. You can go ahead and set all of these settings however you need them. Uh, and once all that stuff is set, we're gonna to go to our animations tab right here and add our animations. So we have three animations here. So we're gonna go ahead and add three in. We have turkey animation.idle, turkey animation.walk, and turkey animation.sprint. Now you may think the walk needs to be at a slower speed than the sprint, but if you go ahead and read this, it says setting this to one will make the animation play at the speed it was designed to play in the timeline. So essentially what this is saying is a sprint animation is pretty much unnecessary now because the sprint animation really is just the same as the walk animation, but a little bit faster. So really, if we wanted to make a good sprint animation, we could remove this sprint animation right here or set it to walk and just have it play at a speed of say 1.2. And this here is the walk uh, animation. So we can go ahead and set this one as our walk animation. Because our idle animation doesn't really do anything, we actually don't really need this idle animation here either. So we can go ahead and delete that, which is pretty cool, which means we've actually cut our turkey down to only needing one single animation, a walk animation. 
Now I'm not sure what this amplitude does. I've gone ahead and read this and it says this parameter controls how strong the animation effect is. So maybe if we bump this number up, it will increase our swings of the legs and whatnot. Uh, but that's really not something we want. So just like that, we have all of our animations set and good to go. Except of course, our sprint animation here. So you'll notice that these are both set to always. So they should just always be playing. So what we need to do here with our speed is we need to detect whether or not the turkey is moving at a certain speed. So let's go ahead and add a playback condition here and we're going to call this turkey sprint playback condition. But before we can fully determine what these numbers have to be and how fast is fast enough to be considered sprinting, then we need to first figure out this our movement speed and define the rest of the stuff for your mob so go ahead and you know figure out all the rest of this and save your entity and then we can go back to this and just like that we have all of our settings here so i'm gonna go ahead and save and keep open and then come back to our animations tab so i've gone ahead and added a couple of different playback conditions here just based on what you might want the only thing we're going to use for our turkey though is this sprint playback condition and you can see that that sprint playback condition is right here for our walk, which is played at double speed. Now our sprint playback condition is incredibly easy because luckily M Creator has this handy dandy is sprinting block. So literally all we're going to do is return is sprinting. And if they are sprinting, then this will return true and else it will return false. So if they're sprinting, it will play this animation. Otherwise, it will play the walk animation. But you probably have a couple of other animations that you want to play. So I have a couple of uh, procedures here to help with that. Let's take a look at the idle playback condition. So in here, what I have is a check for the delta X movement, a check for the delta Z movement, and then a check for the delta Y movement. So if this entity is standing perfectly still, it's not moving in the X, the Z, or the Y, uh, these are all at zero then we will return true and play our idle animation, else we return false and we do not play our idle animation. Next up is a falling playback condition. So what we're doing here is if Y delta movement is less than zero, and technically that's really all you should need for a falling animation. But if you also want this animation to play when the entity is launched upwards, then you can do this. And if Y delta movement is greater than zero, then we can return true. Technically, we could also just have this equal equal to zero and do a logic not. So if it is not equal to zero, then play our falling animation. But really what I would recommend and what I think makes the most sense is if it is less than zero, this will only play if they are truly falling downwards. You may also want an aggro animation or an animation that only plays while the uh, entity is aggressive. That one's also incredibly easy. All you have to do is return logic is event entity currently aggressive. So that will only play while the entity is aggressive. And finally, you might want to have a custom hurt animation. Now, this one is a little bit complex, so there are a couple of steps to it. First, you'll want to open up your turkey entity or whatever it may be, go into synced data and create a new custom synced data, name it hurt or just whatever you want, make it a logic type and make that default value false. Then under triggers, you're going to want to set the when entity is hurt trigger to turkey is hurt or whatever your hurt procedure is right here. And in this hurt procedure, we are going to check that the custom entity turkey logic data parameter hurt is false or not true. So if not hurt, then we set hurt to true, wait 20 ticks or whatever length your hurt animation is. So each second is 20 ticks. So if your animation is only half a second long, you'll want to set this to 10 ticks. If it's one second long, you'll want to set it to 20 ticks. And if it's two seconds long, you'll want to set it to 40 ticks. So just however long your attack or hurt animation is, take the seconds, number of seconds, and multiply by 20, and you should be good to go. And after that number of ticks on the server side, then we are going to set hurt parameter back to false. That way, the next time it is hurt, it will play the animation again, but it will not override this animation or stop playing or loop the play or anything like that. 
So this is what you want in your turkey is hurt. And then your turkey hurt playback condition right here, all you're doing is returning the logic is hurt. So while hurt is true, it will be returned true and play that hurt animation. And while our custom hurt parameter is false, it will return false and not play our hurt animation. Now do keep in mind, the only two animations we have here is a walk animation and a sprint animation. So let's go ahead and save this launch and test out that those two animations are working so here we are we have a couple of turkeys and as you can see our walk animation is a bit slow but it does indeed play when the turkey tries to walk away and if we hit that turkey you'll notice that its legs speed up quite drastically about double the speed when it is sprinting and trying to run away from us they are still pretty slow but it is uh it is working it is double the speed so hopefully that is pretty much all the animations that you guys want if you have any other animation questions or anything like that please let me know in the comments down below so i really hope that this helped all of you who are trying to convert your animations to uh default regular animations in in creator and you're trying to get away from the gecko lib plugin once again if you have any questions please feel free to let me know and uh merry christmas if you're watching this uh when it comes out which is just a few days before christmas time but until next time peace out and as a little added bonus for all of you still watching my own mod aces mc overhaul that i develop with m creator which has almost 8,000 custom elements and nearly doubles pretty much every item in the game is about to receive its biggest update ever over the last two months, we have been working on the 1.0.7 update, which not only changes from Forge to NeoForge and upgrades to Minecraft 1.21.1, it also adds over 55 new additions to the mod. This update is absolutely huge, as well as an absolute ton of bug fixes and several changes. Uh, so I just want to let you all know this should be coming out on Christmas Eve. So if you have been waiting for this or follow Aces MC Overhaul at all, just wanted to let everyone know and if you haven't heard of my mod you can of course download it at the link in the description but i would recommend that you wait until christmas eve so you can get this latest release as it's going to be a big one but without further ado thank you so much and take care